Welcome back to the channel, lads and ladies, and I'm happy to be back with you guys after <laughs> almost dying to the plague. I really should stop talking about that, but that's the sickest I've been in a long time. And speaking of sick, we got an awesome match coming up for you. In fact, today we have a doubleheader, Visky in the MBT-70, and he takes a hard hit there from a Leo opening up. Ally takes him down before Visky's able to get in the return shot, bounces one off the frontal plate of a Leo 2K, and now it's time to pop the smoke. So already in this battle, Visky has gotten into the thick of it, and we cut to a bit later after he's done the repair and moved forward looking for the enemy, and he finds them as an ally gets shot by an enemy tank, comes around the corner, and there's not one but two. Looks like we have a Leo 2A4. Is that what it is? Leo 2A4? <laughs> I'm really not very good on these tank names yet. Uh, Visky takes another hard hit going into the engine compartment, but an ally takes him down later on. T64 Bravo gets a shot straight through the front, passes through some of those powder charges, but doesn't set them off. Uh, <laughs> questions of Russian bias. <laughs> and uh, puts one through the side, finishing him off nicely. Good to pick up a kill there. And then watching an ally there's always another tank in the area so ally gets shot Visky knows there's an enemy coming around that corner he pre-aims there it is Leo 2A4 taken down with a nice central shot wiping out all the crew nicely placed later on as Visky pushes up toward the enemy base Flak Panzer Gepard the new one why should I mention that well you never know what you're gonna see in these matches and one of the things that I don't personally like about top tier matchmaker or top tier battles is they're just so fast paced. It's hard on my little heart. You know, I'm a, I'm a gentle spirit at heart and I like a more slow paced gentleman's warfare. Uh, but Visky here, a very aggressive player pushing in toward the enemy area, not in their spawn, but taking down the AA, which is very much appreciated by a flyboy like me. And, uh, He's received tons of damage in this battle already. Uh, this has only been a few minutes into the battle as I've cut out scenes of him repairing <laughs> over and over as the enemy take down his track every time he gets hit. And surprisingly, uh, his MBT-70 has survived a few direct hits from the very powerful enemy rounds that have been coming his way. And now he's watching the enemy spawn uh, somewhat stuck in position <laughs> as he... Uh, hopes that nobody spawns in at this time. Uh, that would be very bad news for him, but already Visky's been able to rack up a few kills in this lightning fast round. Enemy tank smoking as he decides where his next move is going to be. Uh, this is always my least favorite part of the match where you're stuck in place and you're just watching for uh, where your doom is gonna come from. <laughs> it's all, as I said, rather stressful, but it's a lot more fun to watch one of the pros as Visky continues to use this MBT-70 to its strengths, working that back row with his speed and maneuverability, checking behind him, looking toward the enemy spawn just in case somebody spawns in. That would be bad news for our hero at this point. That's the risky thing about working the back row, is that there's always a chance for an enemy to spawn in just when you don't want them to, notice you and send some good news into your booty but Visky got away with it this time and his flanking maneuver has paid off fairly well as he's picked up a few kills oh smoke does that mean an enemy vehicle yes it does let's see what it is <laughs> oh it's the troll cannon uh, not at all an unviable vehicle at this battle rating but somewhat harder to compete and there is a more reasonable one through the side armor, uh, a great shot going into what looks like the gunner. Uh, enemy tank fires around that appears to have been eaten up by the spaced armor of the MBT. Nice to see armor actually working for once. And, uh, what, what, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> the original Flak Panzer Gepard, lads and ladies. And Visky picks up yet another kill. Here he is later on capturing the point, and he'd been checking frantically around to see if the enemy was coming from either angle. He's very exposed here. 
uh, I would be very nervous in this position. Again, uh, this is what, oh, there we go. <laughs> he takes a shot into the side from a Leo 2A4, taking him down later on. He respawned in the Panther uh, 2 and strafing some ground targets, picks up a nice ZSU kill and also drops a few bombs for his 10th kill. Very well done, GG Visky. There's some fast paced action for you. Now, uh, the other part of our double header today, the SB2U, I believe. Is that is that right? <laughs> and uh, uh, Pretzel Darter is our pilot today, and he is going to be showing you how to into bias with the 50 cals. <laughs> so, uh, let me just speed things up here, get to the action. Uh, when you're in the SBD, you really need to climb and maintain your altitude, even though you get that bomb respawn. And now Pretzel looking down, seeing many targets. Looks like he's facing the Japanese here, which is always a treat for 50 cal bearing American aircraft. Uh, diving now in his heavy SBD, gets some good hits into that key, and blows up his aircraft. What a satisfying kill. Anytime I can shred a Japanese plane with my 50 cals, uh, it just makes me feel that much more American. <laughs> America! <laughs> Fourth of July is coming up, but it looks like it came early for Pretzel Darter. And the glorious Pretzel uh, surveying the world from above. Uh, what? Everything the light touches is susceptible to 50 caliber ball ammunition. <laughs> Uh, what about that shadowy place that is Russian bias? You must never go there. A head-on with a, a Japanese aircraft shreds it appropriately. Now another A6 uh, pulling in. Can he get the guns on target in time? Yes, he can. Awesome turn rate of the SBD. Takes down that zero before the enemy pilot could get his cannons onto target. Beautiful. Always nice to see this fast-paced brutal action air rb this is more my game uh and speaking of my game i've been playing a lot of um earth defense force 4.1 a fantastic game really great for blowing off steam and speaking of it's twenty dollars right now which is a uh, sixty percent off great deal fun game highly recommend you take a look at it um the 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 trailers don't really do it justice uh, it's a lot of fun and get some good hits onto the tail of that uh, enemy key and the Japanese army fighters do have a little bit more durability than the than the zero but still if you get your tail controls blown off there's not much you can do it and on quick pass he shreds another aircraft for a slick double kill uh, the salty pretzel very much assaulting uh, these enemies, two peanuts walk into a bar, one was assaulted, and uh, <laughs> now he's zooming toward this enemy, low on speed, low on energy, he's got to take him down in the first pass, and he does. That's a great thing about American 50 cals, high velocity, high rate of fire, high lethality, even more deadly against these Japanese planes that once they catch on fire, burn like a festival pyre. My goodness. Um, Whew. Let's take a breath. What an amazing match already. Need I remind you that this has been all one continuous engagement. Just identifying an enemy fighter that doesn't even know he exists and then blowing him out of existence. <laughs> He's knocked them into the shadow zone. <laughs> so how are you guys doing today? As Dusty the Pretzel closes in on his last enemy target will he have time before these two aircraft uh, allied aircraft take him down looks like he's taken some engine damage he's stalling he's falling pretzel can you finish him off as the guns converge and a pilot snipe for the final kill racking up seven kills in as many minutes in a nice air rb match with the sbd guys thanks for watching uh catch you in the next one it's good to be back it's good to be doing some replays and congratulations to visky and pretzel for their great matches hope to see more from you guys in the future and uh pilot 784 
has sent in a really interesting replay that I'd like to get to again soon, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.